Good afternoon and welcome back to Places in Ontario, Canada. We are in northern Pickering, Ontario, Canada, and you're looking at the Highway 7 and 407 areas. You can see an old home there and an old barn, and etc. But that's not why we're here. We're here for this, the Brougham Pioneer Christian Cemetery. Now it says service of remembrance third Sunday in June at 2 p.m. So I'm going to assume the service is in the actual cemetery because there is no church or anything like that around. So we are going to go into the cemetery and have a look around. I'm going to hope that this works. If not, let's see. Oh yes, mm -hmm. yep, so this is a little, a little swoop of the cemetery here, it's quite old, and we're going to go over right there to those two very old tombstones. These two tombstones, the first one is for Andrew Hubbard, there is no, there is a date on it, but I just can't make it out. And the one on the right says Margaret, the wife of Andrew Hubbard, who passed away in 1878, it looks like. And these are the two tombstones on the very edge of the property, as you saw when we first came in. So we're going to have a little walking tour here. And, oh, I wanted to... It's quite a large tombstone here for Percy Hubbard. So I'm going to look that up. It's a very large, very large tombstone. And it must be for a family. Let's see what it actually says. In loving memory of John Percy, who passed away in 1925, Louisa Hubbard, his wife, who passed away in 1867. Eliza Jackson, the second wife, who passed away in 1936. And Helen Percy, the infant daughter of Joseph and Pearl Percy. And sadly, she died in 1940, the same year she was born. It also says Walter Percy, who passed away in 1959. Jemima, Jemima Dewhurst, his wife, who passed away in 1967. And Arthur Percy their son who passed away in 1925. So as I mentioned it's a very large tombstone and it faces the road here that well, essentially it ends. It may have gone further at one time but when they put the new highway in that must have all ended. So, so we can see a lot of old tombstones here, I must say. As we pass these ones, I will try to see a name. I, I think I see, yeah, I see Elizabeth. And I see Thursay, T-H-U-R-S-A-Y. But the dates are so old on these. There's three small ones and a larger one here. And this one is for Thomas Hubbard, who passed away in 1854 at 94 years old. So if I do some quick math, that would make him born in, I believe, 1760. That's incredible. It's a tombstone for Malcolm Crawford, who passed away in 1862. This looks like the foundation of a very old tombstone that is just no longer here anymore. It may have been replaced somewhere, I just don't know. So, there's a lot of tombstones in here that are different shapes and sizes. 
right here on the ground is in memory the last name is Wood I'm going to say Woodroy but it could be Woodron the wife of W.J. Heaton it could be Wheaton who passed away in 1865 and the one in front of it is in the memory of Maria Bentley the wife of J.W. Sherrard. She passed away in 1861. So here lay some tombstones. Two of them are essentially completely destroyed and they were sort of put together but there is no there's just no names or dates on them and it's sad because you want to remember everyone. And the tombstone on the left Looks like the last name is, I'm going to say the name is for Rose or Rob Barney, who passed away in 1858. And the other tombstone to the far right, I can't even make out the name. I do want to just do a little, a little swoop here of the, this looks like people who are passed away in, in the early to mid 70s. Um, some of these, 2008. So this looks like the newer, in the last, I'll say that in the last 20, 30, 40 years of the 20th century, are buried here. And then it just seems to end right here. And the old tombstones start once again. I just can't... That one I always see is Belva. It's incredible. This looks like Emily Sarah, the wife of Joseph Rusnell, R-U-S-N-E-L-L, -L, who passed away in, it appears to say, 1873. It says, in memory of Tilly, the daughter of, the last name is Smith, but there's no date. And the one on the right, again, you just can't make it out, but I didn't want them to be forgotten. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen this in a cemetery. The two tombstones are so old, they've fallen over. People have pieced them back together. And the one on the left says Elizabeth L., daughter of Daniel and Elizabeth Thornton, who passed away on March 20th, 1870, at 26 years old. And to the right, it says, in memory of Daniel Thornton, who passed away March 31st, 1869 at 60 years, two months old. And it says, verse eligible. So, somebody has made a special plaque for these two individuals. And in the back, the tombstone says, Willard Landon, who passed away on December 19th, 1859. He was 65 years old, which would make him born in the 1790s. This particular tombstone is in the back left corner of the entire cemetery and it's for what appears to be the Palmer family in loving memory of George S. Palmer, his beloved wife Mary Jane Peacock, their daughters Charlotte Lacinda, Mary Jane, Sarah Ann, their son William George. And all it says is, rest in peace. And just to the left of the Palmer tombstone, 
Well, there's some dirt that's been pushed back, and I will assume that was for more recent graves here, because there is a lot of flowers that are here, and just an old shed. That probably houses just, I don't know, shovels, candles, things like that. I'm really not sure. I'm, I'm actually just guessing, but it could be salt for the, the winter time. I don't know. I really don't know. But it's the first time I've ever been in an old cemetery where I've seen a shed such as this. So here's a tombstone that's just broken. And I don't know the name. I know it says there is a date of 1884 on it. And that's really all you can see. But again, I, I don't want them to be forgotten. I was walking past and then turned to my left and saw this tombstone, the last name Mason, for Elizabeth Mary, who passed away in 1961, and Norman, who passed away in 2010. And the, the age for Norman Mason appears to look like he lived to be 103 years old and his, I'm going to assume it's his wife, had passed away in her mid-50s. And the interesting thing was there was an old drill here. So he may have been a carpenter. I also wanted to film this because it's a tree planted in the memory of George Edward Wilson, who lived from 1914 to 2005. And it says, all his life, a proud and active servant of this community, dedicated by his family, church, and friends. So nice. And the tree right beside that one says, in loving memory of Anna Bernice Whitney, who lived from 1937 to 2003, a proud member of the Matthews family. So that is a tour of the cemetery here, and I wanted to end it here with a little memorial that says Christian Chapel, 1859 AD, and I will assume there was a church right here, because the ground is much higher, and there, there is no tombstones here. And it's a, a larger area. And the date on the top says 1932, erected by Walter Percy. And it says, in his 71st year, in memory of the pioneers of the Christian church. And there's also in front of that another small... Memorial that says Christian Church, A.D. 1859, and this has a date of 1967. So, once again, thank you for dropping by places in Ontario, Canada. And if you'd like to subscribe, please click the bottom right corner where it says subscribe. There's an outline of Ontario. And if you would like to leave a comment, please do. And we hope to see you back very soon. Be sure to check out the many other videos. Have a wonderful evening.